am finally doing another video. I didn't do a video for the last few days because I was sick, but I am no longer sick anymore. Well, kinda, and I am ready to do a video. So, today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some leaks for the next episode update in Toilet Tower Defense because, of course, well, you guys probably saw there was a new Skibbity Toilet episode. Before I say any more, like and subscribe or else the upgraded Bunny Titan is gonna fall over. And then he's gonna like float over there for some reason. I did the math and it was actually three weeks and three days between the episodes. And that's kind of a long time, but there are a bit more effects. The newer episodes are longer than before because there used to be a new episode literally once every few days, but all the new episodes were like 15 to 30 seconds long. Episode 71 was like the only episode that doesn't have multiple parts. We can see episode 72 only is part one, so there are more parts to that, but there were a lot of new things. So one really cool thing is we have this police toilet that has four rocket launchers and a police helmet with a visor, a shield, and even a sickle. So this guy is pretty cool. This definitely looks like the next stronger mutant toilet because there is like the original mutant toilet which wasn't that strong, a mutant toilet version 2. And then there is the one that had the buzz saws. So this one is even stronger looking. Here's what he looks like in game right now. Um, we still need to give him clothes and for some reason I don't know why his torso is green and his rocket or no the rockets are green and his torso is blue that does not really look like the one in series that much I I'm gonna make sure that is fixed as soon as possible so that it looks like the one in the series in the update but after the clothes are made the colors are changed and he's a little more detailed I think he's gonna be a lot better anyways the other unit and the toilets or actually yeah there are two units left and one more toilet they all look really good, I think. It's just this one that we still need to, like, improve the model in-game. But, um, here are the other ones. So, the first unit I want to mention is actually the POV cameraman in this series. And it is actually the mech cameraman. But you can see he has two lasers up here. There's also another part in this episode where you can see his hands. And he has, like, two hands with blades on them. Yeah, here you can see them. The blades are a little hard to see in this part. But he has two robot hands. So, pretty much how this is going to work in the game. It's going to be basically an upgraded mech cameraman. So mech cameraman is a legendary, which means that this is going to be a mythic. So he's going to start out with punching with his robot arms, and then he'll get the blade on his robot arms and punch with those doing more damage, and then he'll get the two lasers on the top. Both of the red lasers, which are both pretty strong, because if you guys remember the red laser from the red laser cameraman, he does 18,000 DPS. So this is going to be a pretty good mythic because I kind of want to follow the red laser cameraman's logic. So like if one red laser does 18,000 DPS and two of them are going to do more than that. I mean, I'm not too sure if it's 100% the same red laser, but yeah, we'll definitely make this new upgraded mech a lot stronger than the current mech. The current mech is a legendary and does only 6,000. The bunny mech, on the other hand, does 61,000. It's probably not going to be that strong. Anyways, here's another part of the episode where you can see his blade. Then the next really cool thing. There is the camera spider, but he is a lot better than before. You can see he literally has four lasers that can shoot blue things, and then later, after he gets attacked, he like preps up to shoot a really big blue laser. Like, here's what he's gonna look like in the game. So, my plan for him is he's gonna slowly gain the lasers, and then when you max him out, he's gonna get that big laser in the middle, and all the lasers will do normal damage, except for the middle laser. The middle laser that is big will do splash damage, because it's like a big laser ball thing, so that's gonna be good. It's gonna be movable just like the normal camera spider, except it is gonna be like the better version, because this one only does 9,000 DPS, and that is not that good, because, I mean, that was the second rarest thing, which the first two things were really common inside of the spider crate. The rarest thing was the spider TV. There's also this weird guy that has five rocket launchers, and it looks like he has some sort of either rocket storage on the top, or maybe those are more rockets he can launch launch. He had that down, but whenever he attacked the camera spider, it looks like... Oh yeah, here you can see when he uses the big thing, but it looks like he never launches the ones on the top, so he only shoots out of those five, so I think those might be storage. I'm not 100% sure, but you can see that big ball from the middle of the camera guy definitely kills him. That's the one that's gonna be splash damage and pretty good, but that we're gonna call the beret rocket launcher toilet. He has five rocket launchers. He's gonna launch them kind of fast and be pretty strong. He's 
not so strong though, because I mean, he died all really fast to that guy, so he's definitely not going to be like a new boss or anything. Those are all the new units that we're going to be adding and the new toilets. Now, here are the other plans. Here are some other things I wanted to tell you guys about. So, April Fools is going to be coming up in like a week and a couple days, and we definitely want to have an update for that. It is going to be a pretty small update, but we're still going to have an event for that. And whenever we do have that event, the St. Patrick's Day event is going to end. Now, I told Evan to add timers for the St. Patrick's event and the Easter event. This is going to be gone the day before April Fool's. Well, we're actually going to have the April Fool's event a day before, just because, I mean, we had the Easter event, like, a few weeks before Easter. We had the St. Patrick's Day event, like, a week before St. Patrick's Day, maybe a few days before that, actually. So the April Fool's event is going to start the day before, because, well, the day before for my time is actually April Fool's in, like, some countries in, the like, the morning. So it's going to kind of start on April Fool's for some people, but for others, it's still going to be the day before. And then it's probably going to last for, like, a week or two after April Fool's. But April Fool's isn't really a massive holiday like Easter is. So even though the Roblox event ends, like, a bit earlier, because the Roblox event ends, I think it says on the page, yeah, seven days left. So there are seven days left, meaning it's going to end actually the same day that we have the April Fool's fools event because that is march 29 or wait no 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 actually march does not have 29 days i forgot it is not february so it's gonna end a couple days before the saint patrick's day event ends but our easter event like the one not relating to the hunt roblox event like the pass and everything is probably gonna last all the way until like maybe the middle of april we'll see we'll see because right now only 82,000 people have completed it in the last event past 648,000 people completed it so there still is a bit more time i know it hasn't been that much time yet and it is not as easy to get like the first 20 tiers because before we had where you had to actually beat a certain wave so if you won you literally got all five quests now to win a certain amount of time so that makes it a little harder and the previous one at 25 2.4 million this one 725,000 people have gotten it so only one third of the people are halfway there and like a little less or a little more than one tenth are there for tier 50. So there still is a bit of time to go. Don't worry about that. Uh, and then after the April Fools event and stuff, I have some ideas for some other events because I forgot if there are any other holidays around that time. In June and July, it's pretty much the summer, so I definitely want to have some sort of summer event. So pretty much the entire month of, well, most of April and May, we'll have a lot of time to pretty much do whatever we want for the events, not really themed around any holiday. So so I have an event in mind that I think you guys will like, and I also want to finally add endless ranks, where you can essentially like rank up, basically like levels, and it's permanent, and whatever you do, you unlock things. But it will take a while to rank up, so that it's really hard to grind the leaderboard on alts, because even though they're not really breaking any rules, there are a lot of alts on the leaderboard, kind of concentrating how many people are able to get upgraded Titan Drill Man, which only has 500 right now, and it still does not say the username. Evan needs to fix that. I don't know what Evan's doing. There's like a long list of glitches I have, but none of them are getting fixed. Well, anyways, yeah, like, subscribe. I'm stuck in the tree. If you subscribe, I will get out of the tree. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.